Well, this is um gonna be interesting. Okay, this one's overwhelmingly requested uh in the community post. You guys really, really wanted me to react to this. This is I get a thrill from pain, my big secret. So uh yeah, I think it's my short stories. Uh, again, I'm assuming this is it because this is what the title says. If I get the wrong one, guys, I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna assume this is it because this is what the title says. So bit, I went by what you all suggested. So, uh, all right. Um, this is kind of new to me. I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. I get a thrill from pain. What what is this person is saying? Are they us? Because you know we. I well, I don't really get a thrill from pain. That's more like Zamasu. He gets off on it. You know, Goku Black, they get off on it, but not me. I just, I get the rush from fighting, you know? And getting stronger, fighting strong opponents. But that's me! But, um, yeah, let's, let's just jump into this and see what this is about. Hi, guys. My name's Rachel, and I want to tell Rachel. you my big secret. Most people hate pain, right? Uh -huh. When they stub their toe or nick their finger, they oh, say, I hate that. and I... shake the area they hurt like hate... a maniac. Pain receptors! I've seen other people do this. My mom, for instance, as she's the clumsiest person ever. Well, yeah, the human but body has pain receptors. Like most other people. You see, I'm a masochist. Oh this no! Means I get pain for pleasure. Oh yeah. no! So okay. Okay, she's a masochist. Wrong, but to no, me, it not... just feels so of... right. Well, of course, you're a freak. When I was ten, I was a naughty kid. I drew on walls, threw rocks at my neighbor's window. Okay, and troublemaker. Swore a lot. One time, I was in my parents' oh, room searching one of those for kids. things when I saw my mom's favorite silver necklace. A Vegeta. So a mini pretty. Vegeta. So, like a magpie drawn to the shiny privileged. things, I couldn't resist picking it up and trying it on. Mom came in and yelped when she saw me wearing it. What do you think you're doing, young lady? Take that off this instant. No, it's mine. I clutched onto it. Mom got mad and screamed out how I was a vile child. This made me angry, so I yanked a, the necklace off, child. which broke the chain. Then I threw it at her as I said, here, have it. Mom saw red and slapped me hard across my face. And you got off on it, you sick bastard. Pain, so I ran to my room. It hurt, but it kind of felt exciting. I thought I was so. too young to understand it. You kind of a All sick I bastard. Then was that I found it thrilling. Mom came into my room and apologized to me. I'm very sorry for slapping you. Can you ever forgive me? I quickly smiled and said, sure, it's quite all right. This surprised her, as I normally held a grudge. I decided to get in trouble again, so I could see if my pain thrill was a one-off or not. So basically, I, went into the I kitchen, forgot what was that called and for masochists, is when their my pain receptors are more furious at me, okay Especially when I shrugged and told them I'd done it because I just felt like it. My dad grabbed his belt and oh, whipped this my is getting, this is getting Instead the... of doing the normal kid thing and crying, I smiled. My dad looked at me very oddly. Then he asked me what was wrong. Nothing. I guess I just like the feeling of pain, I replied, like it was no big deal. They were so shocked that my mom almost fainted. She looked at me <laughs> like a monster and took a step back while tears were falling out of her shocked eyes. We've lost our weapon! So overreacted. My dad was convinced that I was definitely ill, and they instantly rushed me to the hospital and demanded to see a doctor right away. Well, it turns out it your, uh, your child is just, a, is just a freak. Found out what was up with me. No, I wasn't ill. Instead, I was just a masochist. After that, my parents never struck me again. Instead, if I misbehaved, they'd take my phone or games console off me. They told me not to tell anyone that I liked pain, as other people wouldn't understand. I oh, we'll break your bones! Oh, yeah. <laughs> other people just didn't get it. There of course no, you're not 18 yet and not on Pornhub. revealed my fondness for pain secret. One time, I accidentally closed my locker while my hand was still there. I was squealing happily and jumping around. One of my friends came to me and said, Are you okay? I told them I was fine. I was just working through the pain. Then, Working one time through the pain. Canteen, I had a run in with this girl named Brittany who thought she was amazing because she was a cheerleader when she was just a mean girl. So, are you gonna let her beat, beat the crap the out of you? Teams. She came up to me and started calling me bad names. I didn't care as I get so excited when people roast me, but I pretended to get mad and I threw chocolate pudding at her cheerleader outfit. She flipped out and lunged at me. She actually put her hands around my throat. She's like, harder, Molly. Do it harder. harder. <laughs> she and told me I was crazy. 
Then she stormed off. Heart, 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 heart Bobby. In confusion. <laughs> then my one friend asked me if I was okay. I rubbed my eyes to make them look red, and I acted like I was upset. Things changed when I met Stanley. He works in my local coffee shop. One day, I was about to order my usual, but he'd already made it up for me, as well as my drink. He also passed me a napkin with his number on it. We started talking, and, and I guess you want to get it to the freaky deaky. Boyfriend and girlfriend. I was so excited, as yeah. well as being worried. Stanley didn't know about my love of pain, and I didn't know how to tell Lots him of BDSM is going to be happening in that relationship. Out. One time I was around him, and I accidentally knocked over my glass of wine and cut my hand. And you I liked didn't it. flinch or wince or anything. Instead, I just smiled. My behavior confused Stanley. As he cleaned up my hand, I knew I had to tell him my secret. Um, Stanley, you should probably know that I'm a masochist, which means I get a kick out of feeling pain. His jaw was wide open. I knew Why I are people actually that, that that shocked now at this he's point? Going to think I'm a weirdo. At this point, but surprisingly, really? he eventually said, "Well, it's okay. I'm a sadist. You're just being yourself." Ah, uh, I thought he was gonna say I'm a sadist. He leaned over it would have it would have been the wow. perfect relationship. He was amazing, a masochist or I a sadist. Realized just how amazing I was falling for the most perfect and understanding. Well, the perfect one, perfect person will you be a sadist? Later, I was over who gets off like giving pain. Romantic movie when I heard a knock at the door. Stanley quickly opened it, expecting to see the pizza delivery guy, but no. Instead, it was Brittany, the girl who picked a fight with me. Why did she come to Stanley's house? What is she doing at your house? She'd shouted. This was confusing, so I asked Stanley what was going on. Cat fight! Brittany is his ex-girlfriend. This was shocking. How could he have dated that bimbo? Brittany started yelling fight, at us. Fight, she fight, said fight, fight, things, fight, 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 fight. Then she picked up a photo frame and hurled it at me. It hit me in the face. It ached, but I just laughed, which made her even angrier. I'm gonna kill you, you freak. She lunged toward me. Stanley grabbed her around the waist and pulled her out of the house. Then he locked the door and called the police to report her. He asked me if I was okay. I was fine. Of course fact, I am. It of been course. An experience, and I was giddy and giggly from it. Brittany got into serious trouble. She now stays out of my way, and she knows if she messes with me, she'll end up with a restraining order and have to move schools. Unsurprisingly, I haven't had more trouble off her since, apart from the odd dirty look. But whatever. So uh, about Thanks you and your boyfriend, are you uh, going to that I might BDSM? I like pain, and I know it's weird. But no matter with it, right? What do you think of my story? Do you feel pain just like me? Please leave a comment, as I'd love to read them. Uh huh. I, I still want to know about the whole like. Are, are you two like experimenting now? Like, uh, is there some like BDSM thing I should be knowing about? Like, like what, what what's up with that? You got you. So you can't leave me out on that cliffhanger. You know, I gotta know these things. Okay, I'm okay with you, you know, being addicted to pain. You know, like I said, Rosé, I've, I've, I've dealt with people like that. It's it's really nothing for me, but, uh... I mean, my thing is, is it really that shocking? I mean, sure, maybe as a kid, fine, but once you're well into your teens, like, at that point, come on now. It's not that bad. It's not that ridiculous. Ugh, <sighs> but, you know, societal norms and all that stuff, you know. But like I said, your personal partner would have been a sadist. If you are a masochist, your personal partner would be a sadist. A person who will enjoy inflicting pain on you as much as you would enjoy receiving the pain. Actually, your partner would be pain from Naruto. You shall know pain. Yeah. Hi, daddy. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But yeah, yeah, this was, um, this was... Interesting. Um, yeah, that was a video. Definitely an interesting one. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I, I've heard way crazier, but that was definitely an interesting story, and I enjoyed it. So, masochists, yeah. Wouldn't Saiyans technically be masochists in their own right, since we uh we get stronger from every time we taste near death. I mean, you get off from pain, but you don't get off. I wonder how how would you go from near death? How would that work out for you? 
I wonder. I think she. I think it'd be like heaven for a masochist, actually. When you when you think about it. Hmm. But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. And uh, what do you think of uh, sadists and masochists? Is, is are some of you sadists or masochists? I don't. I don't know. I'm curious and know your thoughts. But uh, yeah. Let's move on to the uh, final video. Here we go.